Hi friends, in this video we, we are going to continue working on the post method. In previous session what we did is we manually created the flight object and then inserted it into the database. So what we are going to do is we are going to send the flight data in the request body and uh, save it to the database. Okay, so first thing is we need to get rid of this code here that is the flight object and we are going to send it in the request right in the request so we have an annotation called at the rate request body so what this is going to do is this is going to map all the parameters that are within the request to the pojo class and the pojo class here is flight okay so and this flight then we are going to send it to the database so basically what it what it what is going to happen here is in the request body if we send all the parameters that are required here that is flight number capacity manufactured by and manufactured on those will get mapped to our flight of class and that will be then saved to the database and the entity object will be then sent back and we are sending the same to in the response okay so let's save this and uh, let's go to our postman and let's do that so i have already a json object created here and what i did is in the request i have all these parameters that are required in my flight entity class and i have changed the media type to json okay by default the rest controller here takes the json format that is a json media type and that is what we are going to send now and the date format that i'm using is mmddyyyy okay so let's try to send this and see what happens okay if i send this i get an error that says 400 status and it says json parse error cannot deserialize value of type local date to string so what is happening is basically when you're trying to convert okay the string value to the date here it's not able to do the formatting so it's, it's it does it does not know the format that it has to use to convert that string to the date that is the local date here so for that we have an annotation that tells exactly which pattern needs to be used so it gives you an option called pattern and in this pattern what we're going to do is we're going to give the format and the format that we are using in our request that we are sending it is mmddyyyy so let's do that mm slash dd and yyy okay perfect let's save this and let's go back again and resend this let's hit send and this time it was successfully inserted okay so let's go to our database and verify the same if i refresh here and you can see that the data was successfully inserted so now if you go back here in the controller everything looks fine but there is one problem what we're doing is we are directly sending back the entity object in the response okay and that is something that is not recommended we need to always convert our entity object to the data object okay so let's do that okay for that what we need to do is we are going to create a package called dto that is data transfer object and let me first shut down my server and here i'm going to create a dto class and that is flight dto and this will have all the same properties that the entity class has so i'm just going to copy paste that here and remove this annotations and create the getters and setters and also generate the hash code method so let's create that and then i'm going to create the two string method perfect so this is created now what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the request body to flight dto object and save it to the database and when 
Sending back to, into the response, I'm going to use the same flight DTU. That way we are not sending the, we are not, you know, from the request and response are not directly interacting with the repository layer. Okay. So for that, let's go to our controller and here let's change it to DTO and I'll change even this DTO and one more thing here what we have to do is we need to also introduce one more uh, lot, one more layer here that is called service layer and why we want to do that is now when converting our DTO object to the entity object is basically we are doing some business logic right and we don't do that in the controller the controller's job is to delegate the request from the user or the front end to the back end okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create a service layer between the controller and the dt and the repository okay so for that what we're going to do is we're going to create another package let's create a package called service and we'll have a service for this we are going to create an interface first and i'll call this as flight service okay and then i'm going to create a class that implements this service i'll add an interface here and i'll say flight service and say finish okay so here in the interface class what i'm going to do is i'll have all the methods that are in my method in my controller basically whatever is going to interact whatever the methods are going to interact with my repository layer now they have to go through service layer okay so for here what i'm going to do is for save i will do here is i'm going to auto wire auto wire my service first here flight service and this flight service is then i'm going to call in my create flight method and here i need to create a method so for that what we are going to do is we'll go back to our again service interface i'm going to create a method that is called as public and i'm going to return flight dto object okay and i'll call this as post method because i'm doing actually a post right create this a post post data and here i'll pass the object as flight dto and i'm going to import the flight dto object class fine so this is what we have in the interface so i need to implement that in my class okay that is also here now perfect so for here in the class to create the bean to auto wire it i need to use a stereotype annotation service okay now what will happen is at runtime this bean will be created and that is what we need to auto wire here okay now this is where i'm going to use it and i'm going to post the i'm going to call the post data and i'm sending that here now in the post data what is going to return it is going to return me back the fly dto so i'm going to use the same variable here and the same thing i'm going to return back in the response so this invocation of the repository method i'm going to move this logic in the repository in the service class okay so let's do that first let's move this repository auto wired from here to the service class here okay next move this save logic from here to the service class perfect now let's clean up our compile time errors in controller class it says return type okay we have to change here also so you can see that now i am sending back the flight dto object in the response so nowhere now the client is directly interacting with the my repository layer 
right it has first if the request first comes to the controller layer, layer the controller then delegates it to the service and where you convert your dta to the entity object and that entity object then gets updated or saved in the repository that is the database okay so that is good i can you know minimize it to one line by just passing it back here so now this looks more simple and clear fine so let's format this and go back to our service class now here is where uh, we are going to convert our dta to entity class so for that first we need to create an object of the entity a plain object and this is called as a detached object okay it's not attached in orm we call it as attached okay and session object and this is a detached object so we're going to create that and now we are going to copy all the state that is in the flight dtu to the, our detached object so we can use a util class that is bin utils of spring and use the copy properties and what it is going to do is it's going to take the source and the target the source here is our flight dto and the target object is our flight so what it is going to do is it's going to copy all the properties from the source to the target object okay and now we have our plain flight object loaded with the data that we are sending from the request now this is what we are going to send to the database and we get back the session object from the database and this is what again we are going to convert back to our dto i'm going to go use the same variable so this time this is going to be flight and this is going to be our target right and this is what i'm going to send back in the as the return type perfect now what we are what we are doing actually here we are converting the flight dto to our entity object here and then we are sending that to the database and it returns back the entity object and that again i'm converting back to the dto object and that is what i'm sending back to my controller and the controller then sends back in the response body okay perfect so this looks good so far now let's go back to our postman before that let's start the server let's test this and we are going to do the same for all these methods but for now let's look at the post okay and let's go to the postman and here i'm going to change the request from i'll change it to the flight number as 333 and i'll change the capacity to 70 and i'll change the date as 11 30 and then this i'm going to do as 2001 so now let's post this and see what happens and it gives us an error it says cannot deserialize value of okay now i guess we know what we are missing here because here you see we did not add the annotation okay for that let's do one thing is go back here and change this copy this and put it here yeah perfect okay now let's save this and go back to the postman again and here we are going to resend it let's see and voila it was successful the data was inserted in the database so let's go to our database and refresh and validate the same and you can see the data was inserted successfully so now this is now once we added here we don't no more need it here so we are just going to get we'll remove this from the entity perfect so now you can see that everything is uh, we have three layers one is controller the or dto that we added and now we have the service layer okay and the repository layer perfect 
So that's all for this video and I will see you in the next session.